Hi. Can you hear me? Yep. Good morning. Good, good, good evening to you too. <laughs> <laughs> so I hear you're in your new place? Yeah, finally. Yeah, I'm still trying to, I'm st and everything's still in boxes, not everything. The kitchen's unpacked, but my closet's still a mess. How does Rosie like it? Um, she likes it more because there's carpets. So oh, yeah. she can run. She loves the carpet. Take care. Okay. I love you. I'm gonna miss you. And I'm so happy that you're happy. Love you. Miss you too. Okay. Okay. Bye bye now. Bye. everybody happy Friday I've just finished getting ready for the day and I have to say I'm loving this haircut it is so much easier to style it dried much faster I just let it my hair is naturally a bit wavy but because it was so long and heavy it always weighed it down so now I can just blow dry it with this diffuser on the end of my um, blow dryer and I just kind of go like this and it just creates this look I added a bit of um, wax like a soft wax to give it some texture but it's so much more manageable and I'm really really happy with it this is gonna be my fall look I'm sorry my this background is still super messy it's not organized yet I might do that today maybe tomorrow my first priority today is actually to do my closet I need to go buy baskets for that and then I will do this but first something just got delivered that I'm really excited to open so let's go do that this is my delivery from Zara Home. I'm so excited to get into these. Let's open them. The first thing I got is this really pretty laundry basket. So this is something that this is something that I've always wanted. Every time I see one in a shop, I want to buy it, but it always looks too big and too heavy to carry all the way home. So I finally ordered one of these online. It's for cakes or cupcakes or cookies. I just want to put something cute on the counter. And that's the reason why I bought those cookies yesterday. You'll see why later. I also grabbed this gorgeous wooden golden bowl for the middle of our coffee table, which we don't have yet, but I just saw it and I loved it. So there you go, it's quite heavy. This is a candle. It kind of looks like a pumpkin on the side. A vase. Oh, apparently I got two of those. I didn't mean to do that. Final thing is a skull candle. There. Here is my outfit of the day. I've got this shirt from H&M. It's a nude color, which I really love wearing right now. And it has a mock turtleneck. And then I'm wearing overalls, black overalls from H&M too. So both the shirt and the overalls are from H&M. And then shoes wise, I'm wearing these furry ones. You can find this shop in Shibuya 109 or in Harajuku on Takshitadori. They're like furry little, I don't know, lambs, alpacas. And on my lips, I've got Candy K, but you guys probably already knew that. All right, let's go to Niktori now. and I'm gonna get these storage boxes. The reason why I came here is, is because it's kind of like Japan's own IKEA. It's a really inexpensive store full of homeware, um, furniture, home goods, everything you could possibly imagine. And it's probably half the price of Muji or other stores like these. Boxes for a big one in Muji was about 3,000 yen or $30. And here it's like 1,500 yen, so it's like half off. So it's definitely worth it. I didn't wanna pay $30 for one single box to fit in my closet. So, yeah, I'm gonna grab some of these down. Changed my mind and went with these boxes instead. Oh my gosh, guys, I found the Christmas section. I've never seen such a big selection of Christmas stuff in Japan ever. I wish I knew they had this here last year. That's everything. I definitely wanna have a tree this year, so I'm gonna come back here and grab some stuff later after Halloween. They have all the stuff to decorate trees. Oh, look at this. I took as many boxes as I could possibly carry. Hopefully this will work. I'm gonna take Rosie to the park now before the sun goes down. Where's my baby? There she is. 
gonna go to the park? We're home now, I'm just having a little snack of crackers with hummus before dinner and then I'm gonna get to work on my closet. All right, I have procrastinated long enough. I got home, I edited and uploaded the vlog, I ate dinner, I took Rosie outside again and now it's time to get to this closet or else it's never gonna get done over here. All right, let's jump into it. Okay, I think the best way to do this is to separate everything into sections. So I'm gonna do the front section, my pajamas, socks, bras, underwear, um, workout clothes, and then back here will be, can you guys see this? Back here will be like fall shirts and jeans and pants, skirts. Here will be like bigger sweaters and coats, and then here will be dresses because it's a longer area and here will be summer stuff that I'm not going to wear. I'll either pack it away or hang it here. I'll show you guys a close up later, it won't matter now anyways. Okay, so all of this does not belong here. So I think I'm just going to take each thing and then stuff I don't want I will just put somewhere for now and then donate it later. Alright, dress. I got as an option for my event. I'm not sure if I'm ever gonna wear this now. It is really cute, but I don't think I have anywhere to wear this. I'll keep it anyways for now. I still keep this Liz Lisa dress because it's not too girly. I still think it's really cute and quite nice for like Christmas season. So I'm gonna keep this there. This jacket, this sort of biker jacket, it's faux leather. A lot of you guys asked me where I got it last year because I wore it a lot in fall winter and I'm probably going to wear it a lot again this year. It is from Style Nanda. It is last year's collection. I'm sure they probably have something similar this year though too if you keep checking. I haven't checked recently. If I can find something, I'll try and link it in the description box if I remember. But yeah, that's where this is from. I want to wear this jacket. Or I'm currently enjoying these bomber style jackets. My favorite colors are the deep maroon or the deep green. This section here is my boyfriend's, by the way, that you can't see right now. If you're wondering where his closet is. And then other than that jacket wise, and this leopard jacket that you guys saw in my last fall lookbook, I will link that video below by the way. I still will wear a lot of the same clothes because I feel like this is still in style and I've seen a lot of leopard print again this year. So I'm going to keep this out, this army butterfly jacket. Put these somewhere else first. Sorry, my camera just died, but I just moved these two dresses which I still haven't worn yet and I bought maybe one or two seasons ago. This one's from Zara, this, is, this one's from Style Nanda and I think they're really cute so I really want to wear them this fall. But I never really go to many like events where I need to get dressed up. Maybe that will change this season. Uh, let's get rid of some summer stuff. This dress was one of the ones I was considering to wearing to the Hong Kong meetup event. It's from Snidal, but I went with something else. This one's a little bit more formal, I guess. It has a lacy, really pretty lacy top underneath. Maybe I will wear that to something else. Oh, these are all Konomi shirts, those like Japanese style uniforms, which I will never wear again. <laughs> place everything in its corresponding area and then I'll organize it by color or whatever later. Okay, I got through all of the sections on the top, um, some of the sections on the bottom, but all of these I still have to go through and all of the boxes on the bottom and I'm so tired. What time is it? Wow, it's already after 11, so I think I'm going to stop here and continue tomorrow. I just have to tell you, fall-wise, I really like nude colors, um, grays deep purples, deep greens, deep yellows, 
all those fall colors and yeah and then the trends that I really like is the lingerie style trend for example this outfit and the mock turtleneck I really love those like I have on right now so like this this look either in dresses or um, what is it or in shirts, either a long sleeve shirt or a turtleneck or a t-shirt. Oh, this is coming off. Browns too, I like browns, earthy tones. Yeah, or in a shirt or like this style dress. I also got, I got a Zara. Um, yeah, either way, I like these sort of lingerie looking dresses and shirts with shirts underneath it. And then another trend that I really love is these pants that are kind of too short for you and really flooded, like bell, bell shaped, I guess they're called. I see them everywhere now, like every girl wears them here and I think they're so cute. So I love pants with this style. Um, I had worn a few last year, some in navy blue and some in gray. So yeah, I still love those. Turtlenecks and sweaters, of course. Bomber jackets, which I've mentioned before. Um, and I still really love overalls and overall dresses, to be honest. Those are lasting quite a while and I have a whole bunch of them, so I'm happy that I still like them. And, oh, and sweater sets, like tighter. I don't wanna show you guys everything I, I don't want to show you guys everything I got for the fall season because I want to do a fall lookbook soon. So I don't want you guys to see everything I'm going to be wearing, so I'm not going to show you guys that stuff now. But yeah, I also really love really fitted feminine looking clothes. So my style is going to change a little bit, um, including the stuff that I showed you, like the feminine lacy and lingerie stuff, um, turtlenecks, more tighter fitted dresses and sweaters, um, or even longer sweater skirts that are tight. Um, yeah, something that I didn't wear last year, but I want to wear this year, so I'm going to start wearing those. So that is, I will show you my closet tomorrow, maybe. Hopefully I can finish it tomorrow. <laughs> I say this every day. I can't get ready for bed yet because I have to do the number one thing that is annoying about living in a house in Japan, um, and that's the garbage. And that's because... Well, when I was living in an apartment, it's quite normal when you live in a house. Like in Canada, you throw the garbage away once a week. You have to separate it into cans, bottles, plastics, cardboards, re whatever, recyclables, um, combustible, non-combustibles, that sort of thing. So that's fine. But um, after living in an apartment for many years, you're able to throw away garbage whenever you want, basically. So I, I would always take out the wet food constantly so that it doesn't smell and... Um, yeah, you sort of separate everything, but sometimes you can get away with a bit. But when you live in a house, you can't get away with anything. And it's not literally like every Thursday you can throw away all the garbage. It's all separated into different days. Like Monday is water bottles, and Tuesday is combustibles, and Wednesday is plastics and cardboards. Like, like that, like it's all separated. So you have to memorize the schedule and keep checking that and put it out on different days, which is kind of annoying. And um, you really need to do it properly because the neighbors watch you, especially when you're new. Like, you have to have proper bags and the things in proper bags. And you can't get away with, you know, when you just throw away a, a carton or container, you need to actually, like, wash it out first and flatten it properly, which I was sometimes lazy and didn't do before. But it, I definitely got to do it now because the neighbor's watching. I'm the newbie here. They're not going to like me. I'm not going to have a good first impression if I don't do that stuff. So I've got to take the time and separate the garbage properly. So let's get going with that. See these? The proper way to throw them away isn't just like this. You have to take it. Crush it and really twist it down into that. And then you can throw it away. I should 
done this earlier because it's like midnight and it's so dark and quiet. I'm so scared right now. <sighs> okay, that was the last of it. I just made four trips uphill to bring all that garbage. If you're wondering why my boyfriend wasn't helping, it's because he's not home right now or else he would be helping me, of course. Oh, there's a car coming. Okay, so I have just finished as much as I can do. Um, basically, I don't have enough baskets, so I didn't know the exact measurements and sizes and how I was going to do everything. So um, I'll go in sections. So up here I have jewelry, scarves and glasses and some accessories. Here I have pajamas, pajama shirts, shorts, pants. These are bra, socks, underwear. These are gonna be um, like stockings, nylons, and stuff like that, but I need to get a proper basket there so they're just in the box still. This is gonna be my workout wear section. Although it looks really messy, it's in organized piles of what's what. I need to grab a couple boxes there too. This is denim. These are all basically pants and skirts. This being the denim. This being pants and skirts. I organized it by colors. There's red, green, brown, grays, blacks. Same for pants. Pants and long skirts. Up there is hats. I have to grab my caps and toques from the other room, but I just have these hats there for now. And then here is t-shirts, long sleeve shirts, um, sweaters that I couldn't really fit, like casual sweaters, I guess. Here are all sweaters, also color coordinated from blue, green, burgundy and reds, brown, yellows, nudes, whites and creams, grays to blacks. Up there is bags, bags, jackets. Hoodies and zip-ups are under here. And I'm gonna get more boxes, like, here. I have to figure out, yeah, which ones. And then over here, I have dresses. That is my closet. I still have to get things for down here and, like, finalize it. Maybe I'll just show you guys in a house tour or something later. But I just want to show you guys what I got for now. Because it's like 6.30 p.m., I'm starving, I'm going to eat dinner, and I need to edit this vlog now. So Alright, thank you so much for watching. Bye! <laughs> Say bye! Can you sit? Sit. Sit. Say bye then. <laughs> bye from Rosie.